The start of something new brings bring hope, hope of something great. great. And I still think we learn these things far more during the bad times than the good times. Because the truth is, in my business of athletics, when you stand on top of that rostrum, when you see the flag go up, you hear the national anthem, and they put the gold medal around your neck, you don't learn much from that. You stand there, you smile, you enjoy it. Honestly, it's not difficult. The test is when you're on the operating table, they're about to put a metal screw into your foot, and your career is potentially over. And it's time to get learning. The quicker you can get from the position of, oh, I got fucked, to, hey, things happen for a reason, that's all about the forward. I think if you have this passion, this desire to reach your full potential, it doesn't matter how bad the bad times are, you'll always get through. I hate to admit to it, a lot of people talk about it, but I think that some losses by me has been good for me. It's not just a Fredericks this time, it's an Adam, it's to Bates, it's an Adam and he knows that is it. It's all over. You guys just see the result. You don't see the work going into it. You don't see the excuses, the whys. Why isn't he in form? Why is he out of shape? Why is he running slow? And often in life, what holds people back is that they are scared to do things new, to do things different. We had the courage to change a winning formula. And I think it's the ability to change a winning formula that actually is a winning formula. And it meant that that very small change enabled us to step away from being excellent to becoming outstanding, and as you just seen, to becoming champions of the world. So I had the confidence of what I had developed worked for me. It may not, it may or may not work for anyone else. That was not relevant at the time. have to sit back humbly as good as you thought you did and as good as you trained and time-wise you have to reassess what you're doing almost reinvent yourself to adapt to your new body whatever you want to do go for it but sin miedo because tú te vas a encontrar con tigres con mujeres hasta tu mismo familia que te van a decir que no que tú no puedes que tú vas a eso olvídate de eso if it's, if it's a desire and it's a passion that you have, nunca, nunca te rinde. Don't listen to people who've never accomplished what you want to accomplish. But they just hate you. I will never forget in 1996 watching a very shaky Muhammad Ali light the Olympic flame in Atlanta. I will never forget that. It's indelibly printed on my mind. I think we all have that flame. When things are going well, life's great, that flame burns brightly, but there are times when it flickers and there's that temptation to put that flame out. Everyone resists that temptation if they're going to succeed. In our sport, you rarely see a comeback. But when it really, really matters, the only person I really trust is myself and the great I am. Derek Redmond, bravely making it through with a little help. In moments when the human spirit triumphs over injury that should have been impossible to overcome are simple truths of our common humanity. That no matter who you are, where you're from, or what you look like, with hard work and dedication and discipline, you can achieve your dreams. You can make it.
if you try. Lo más importante que la gente piensa que ah, yo fallé, ay, no lo logré. No, no hay no hay caídas, sino hay lecciones. Y si uno puede aprender de, 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 de los fallos en el camino, eh, te hace más fuerte. I'm a real big believer in, in mentorship and coaching and all of us need someone to look into. I always say that top achievers don't look up to role models, they look into role models. They find people that they like something and then they're prepared to do the work to find out about that person. Rule one is always strive for the finish line. Rule two, there is no finish line. If you don't feel like it, you know one day you're going to be held to account. And I don't want to stand on that line and think I shoulda, yeah, woulda, yeah. oh. or coulda. Yeah, okay. So I do it. Yeah. <laughs> this is only a small window of my life. Why not make the best of it? We rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us. When you want something so bad that you can just feel it in your gut, just the accomplishment and the joy you get accomplishing it. There's no, there's no feeling like it. There's only one you. Only one you, and you come this way but once. So do it right. Dig deep. Dream big. Yeah! Come on! Somebody said, "Play it. You know you can make it happen. Can't you give it? Yeah!"